power. The only good news I can tell you, just looking at the radar signature without seeing more visuals, is that the circulation does not look nearly as tight as it did earlier. So I'm going to do a track on the circulation. We're not going to track the rain or the hail. We're just going to track where the circulation is going. So in Matthews, um, 5.09 p.m., Stallings, 513 Mint Hill 517. But again, in between there, we've got a lot of roads that this is going to cross over. So just let me go in real quickly and show you. So it's going to cross over a Colony Road in the next, I'd say, minute or so. Sharon Few Road, then Providence Road, then Sardis Road, then pushing east towards Monroe, McAlpine Station Drive, uh, pushing east. Then eventually it's going to cross over Independence as it pushes east just south of the Plaza Midwood area, then pushing east towards Idlewild and then over towards Hoods as it gets back towards areas in Matthews, you know, over there towards um, areas uh, just near the Costco there in Matthews um, as you're going over towards downtown Matthews area and just to the south of Mint Hill. So that's kind of the track that it's taking as it pushes off to the east. So again, the warning is up until 530. That's a whole 30 minutes from now. But it's more than likely that this might maintain itself because it's all by itself. You can see how it's detached from the rest of the line. That means it has the potential to tap into its own energy. There's no storms interfering with its inflow. This line has really gone gangbusters in the last hour. There's actually two tornado warnings up in the Greensboro, Winston-Salem area as well. So if you have friends or family up there, just a heads up, might want to call them and let them know. And the storm to the south, we're keeping an eye on as well. So you see how their storms have separated this afternoon. When those storms separate like that, they become discrete. Uh, that's what we, we, we sometimes we worry about as far as supercell storms be able to maintain themselves. So again, there's the rotation in the storm. I'm going to go in close. Uh, the good news is just looking at, and um, this is just radar indicated, the circulation has weakened quite a bit within that cell. So that's a good sign. One of the things, the tools we have on first warned Doppler radar is debris detection. And this is a little muddied here, but um, without getting too deep in the weeds, the areas of the yellows there, we know there's different shaped objects in the air. Now, immediately, I would not say that's all debris. It's probably not because there's hail in that storm. Hail's different size than raindrops. And so when we have different sized objects next to each other in the storm, they show up as those basically shades of yellow and green. When it's all rain or one side, it shows up maroon. So this is a product that dual pole Doppler allows us to see debris or different shaped objects in the storm, but it's being clouded up a little bit because we do have um, some hail in that storm. That hail uh, looks to be closer to the Myers Park and Dilworth area, so there's some hail on the north side. The storm is, though, taking on a shape less and less like a supercell, which is which is good news as it moves through southern Mecklenburg County and begins, begins to weaken a little bit. The area right now that I'm seeing the circulation is actually shifting north of Sharon Road and Providence. So this is more up um, in the Dilworth area, Myers Park, Queens Road West right there near Queens University. There's Queens Road. This is heading towards Randolph Road. So right in that area, in the middle of your screen, and what I'm going to do is kind of show you the circulation. These colors, and so for what you're looking at here, and I'm kind of dissecting this live on the air, is the reds are essentially winds going away from the radar, um, away from the radar, which is down to, or up to the north. So the winds are going away, and then the greens are going towards. So we're getting some rotation within there, a little bit of outflow as well in that area. So maybe uh, becoming a little bit more uh, of a downburst right there. So that's the area of greatest concern. So if you're just joining us, we're at the top of the hour. It's five o'clock. You're watching WCNC Charlotte.